that wall behind you? What is that, clay? Yeah. Wet clay. I think it's electrified. Max Wren. Your television station offers its viewers everything from softcore pornography to hardcore violence. Why? Well, it's a matter of economics, Rena. We're uh, small. In order to survive, we have to give people something they can't get anywhere else. And, uh, and we do that. But don't you feel such shows contribute to a social climate of violence and sexual malaise? And do you care? Certainly I care. <laughs> I care enough, in fact, to give my viewers uh, a, a harmless outlet for their, their fantasies and their frustrations. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a socially positive act. What about it, Nikki? Is it socially positive? Well, I think we live in overstimulated times. We crave stimulation for its own sake. We gorge ourselves on it. We always want more, whether it's tactile, emotional, or sexual. And I think that's bad. <laughs> then why did you wear that dress? Sorry? That dress. It's very stimulating. And it's red. You know what Freud would have said about that dress. And he would have been right. I admit it. I live in a highly excited state of overstimulation. Listen, I'd really like to take you out to dinner tonight. Yeah, you, you Professor to Oblivion. What do you think? Do you think erotic TV shows and violent TV shows lead to desensitization, to dehumanization? Is the microphone? The television screen has become the retina of the mind's eye. Yes. That's why I refuse to appear on television, except on television. Of course, Oblivion is not the name I was born with. That's my television name. Soon, all of us will have special names. Names designed to cause the cathode ray tube to resonate. Yes, I am, actually. Yes, I am. Start to unravel here. I mean, who's this black guy? Is he a political prisoner? There's no plot. Just goes on like that for an hour. Goes on like what? Like that. Torture. Murder. Mutilation. We never leave that room. Nope. It's a real sicko. Brilliant. For perverts only. It's absolutely brilliant. I mean, look, there's almost no production costs. You can't take your eyes off it. It's, it's incredibly realistic. Where do they get actors who can do this? Oh, help me. I think he wants it. Come on. Well, it's worth checking out. Did you have any trouble locking onto it this time? Not after I realized the Malaysia delay was a plant. It's not coming from Malaysia? <laughs> You cannot fool the Prince of Pirates for long. Har Harlan, where is it coming from? Pittsburgh. That's in the USA. Pittsburgh. God, I can't believe it. I'll turn it off. No, 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 it's okay. I can take it. Can you get it any clearer? It's a pirate tape. They scramble it. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, it turns me on. Take out your Swiss army knife and cut me here just, just a little. I'll say somebody's beat me to it. I wonder how you get to be a contestant on this show. I don't know. Nobody ever seems to come back next week. <laughs> Wait, what did you say happened to your shoulder? A friend. I think he'd like video drama. You let somebody cut you? Uh-huh. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. You want to try a few things? <laughs> 